So talk a little bit about Grey Friars Bobby. Now Bobby was the dog to a night watchman, a man called John Grey. Now John Grey had a very tough job. Somehow by himself had had to convince groups of up to 10 men not to commit a crime. Which is a very tough job for one man to do. So he needed a dog for protection. Now most get big dogs. John decided to get a tiny Sky Terrier as his guard dog. Because he wanted to be the nice night watchman. He got to groups of men and go, right lads, settle it down. They would look at him, they then look down and see a cute little dog. And they go, aww. And they'd bend down and pat him. Now they called his little dog Bobby, because Bobby was slang for police officer. And John and Bobby patrol suits together for two years, cleaning up the crime, until unfortunately John died of tuberculosis. Because I just want to quickly show off the back windows to the Elephant House Cafe. Now, we're just above where it says Harvey's Furniture Stores. That's where J.K. Rowling wrote a lot of the first two of the Harry Potter books. You should actually look out those windows and see the graveyard here. And she actually went through Greyfriars Kirk and wrote down a list of names and some of those names found their way into the Harry Potter books. And if you want to learn more about Greyfriars Kirk, you've got to come along to my horror tour. Anyway, back to Bobby. Now when John died, he was buried right here in Greyfriars Kirk. You can see where a group of people are. Now luckily I've got a gimbal so I can still watch in the background and point out where the grave is. And it's right where that lady is standing in black. Now when he was buried here, little Bobby came. He was now a, he was now a stray dog and he sat on his master's grave. Now he was a loyal dog. He did not want to leave his master's side. Now the first thing the monks do is they kick him off because you can't have dogs in a cemetery. But no matter what the monks did, little Bobby kept finding his way inside. He's just got to be close to his master. Now, James Brown, who's actually uh, the smaller, now I just want to point out, I don't want to interrupt another tour guide, there's tour guide respect, but you can see where the lady is standing. The bigger grave is the grave of John Gray, and the smaller one is the grave of James Brown. He was a local butcher who used to feed Greyfriars Grey Bobby uh, every day just after one o'clock. He'd sneak inside and give him some food. Now eventually the monks do fall in love with Bobby and on cold nights they'd come outside and collect him. Now Bobby does become a tourist attraction. Now, the city council comes in here and presents Bobby the keys to the city, making him legally a citizen. That also gave him the right to vote, before women could vote. Now, little Bobby survived almost 14 years after his master's death. ...him here for its holy earth. So they actually buried him somewhere near the gates where we're heading to right now. We're actually a little unsure as to where he's buried. But since Bobby's death, there've been a lot of books written about him. There's been three movies based on him. There's also an episode of Futurama based on him as well, and there's also a reference in Family Guy, funny enough. You can also see a lot of Bobby artwork all around, such as right here, the little Sky Terrier. And in 1981, they put up the Bobby Memorial Stone here. Now as you can see, there's sticks. People leave Bobby sticks, so can go play fetch in the afterlife. Now, there's also the Bobby statue, which I'm gonna show you, but the thing about the statue is it's a little bit of a lie. You see, that statue is actually not Bobby. <laughs> it's Bobby's girlfriend. Now, it might get a little loud out here, so I might have to jump back into the graveyard to finish the story. Like, I'm good. But, later in life, Bobby actually had a girlfriend, a female dog. 
and uh, they would share in their food. Also, Bobby was getting quite old, and so he would sleep for longer inside and she'd sit there. And the monks loved the fact there was a new dog taking up, <laughs> a new dog basically keeping the tourism coming, taking up the morning shift. And when Bobby died, her girl, his girlfriend still sat there as the second dog. And so it was after his death, they decided to model the statue on his girlfriend. So right here, the statue, which I actually don't recommend, don't rub the nose, the locals don't really like it. But this statue of Bobby, it's not Bobby. It's his girlfriend. And hello, Razor. Nice to meet you as well. Hope you caught most of the tour, but that is... That is my tour, everyone.